Next, the focus will be on the material database and the steps necessary to either make changes to the current material definition or select a different material. To make changes to the current material definition, double-click the CAMPART header to display the Milling Part Data dialog box. In the iMachining Data area, click the Edit iMachining Database button to display the iDatabase dialog box. The Material DB page of the iDatabase dialog box enables you to edit the parameters of existing material files saved on the system. Any changes made to the current material definition will have an effect on the output cutting data values generated by the wizard. Remember, the wizard is an algorithm for producing on-the-fly cutting conditions, and the wizard uses the work material parameters for calculating the optimal spin and feed rates, stepover ranges, etc. Click Save and Exit to close the iDatabase dialog box. It is important to note that selecting a different material will also have an effect on an operation and the technology wizard. Selecting a different material can be done three ways, in the CAM part definition, in the part tool table, and in the iMachining operation dialog box. To select a different default material in the CAM part definition, click the drop-down menu under Material Database in the iMachining data area. A list of the 70 plus materials that are supplied with the system will be displayed, as well as any added material files. For the purpose of this exercise, select Titanium TI for the new default material. This material file was created during exercise number one. To save the changes to the Campart data, click OK. You will be prompted to update material in selected operations and update material in selected tools using the new CAMPART default. Click OK to accept. iMachining will prompt you that the jobs must be edited to be synchronized with the new material database. Click OK. The SolidCAM Manager is displayed. Due to the material database changes, you can see that all iMachining operations in the CAM tree are no longer synchronized as indicated by the asterisks. For the purpose of this exercise, double-click iRough Outside Shape to edit the operation. The Synchronize with Operation dialog box appears and asks if you would like to turn the wizard on or off. Leave the default selection of Yes, Wizard On to write the output cutting data to the operation. Click the Finish button. When the iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed, switch to the Technology Wizard page to view the cutting conditions. In the Output Cutting Data section, looking at View 1 and View 2, the following sets of data are now provided based on the selection of a different default material. Now that the operation is synchronized with the Output Cutting Data values generated by the wizard, the operation must be recalculated. Click Save and Calculate to save the data to the operation and calculate the toolpath. To select a different material in the Part Tool table, switch to the Tool page, click the Select button, and move to the iData tab. Changing the Material Database selection in the Part Tool table is beneficial for machining a fixture of a different material than the CAM part. The tool can be associated with any material file saved on the system, and every time the tool is selected from the Part Tool table, the wizard will provide cutting conditions based on the associated material. Click the Cancel button to exit the Part Tool table. To select a different material in the iMachining Operation dialog box, switch to the Technology Wizard page and move to the Modify Cutting Conditions tab. Changing the material database selection in the operation is an efficient way for machining different materials on a per-operation basis. Close the iMachining Operation dialog box with the Exit button. Because the iMachining data has changed again, all iMachining operations must be edited, synchronized, and recalculated for the changes to take effect. Outside of the CAMPART definition, you can edit machine and material database definitions by clicking the SolidCAM field in the SolidWorks main menu and choosing iMachining Database. The iDatabase dialog box is displayed 
and enables you to edit the parameters of existing machine and material files saved on the system. Click Save and Exit to close the iDatabase dialog box. Modifying iMachining database definitions that are currently being used will prompt the Synchronize with Operation dialog box and ask if you would like to turn the wizard on or off when editing in operation. It is recommended to leave the default selection of Yes, Wizard On, and synchronize the operation with the output cutting data values generated by the wizard. It is important to note that any technology wizard overrides are cleared and all cutting conditions are automatically reset to the defaults when going through the sync process. At this stage, step 7 is complete and the exercise has come to an end. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in these videos to see how making changes to the iMachining data has an effect on an operation and the technology wizard.